Hey everybody, this is Just One. Just figured I'd do a video, give you guys a little update on my toolboxes. It's been a while. I steadily buy tools. I was slowing down for a little while. Had some of the kids' birthdays I had to you know, spend on, so I didn't get to buy really what I wanted. And now Christmas is coming, so I'm going to slow down for a little while again. I've been working basically on taps. I don't really want to buy a set. I like having a few of each size. So I've been finding deals on eBay of all American made and buying them up. But anyways, so let's get to it. Give it a little tour. This is my Husky box, 46 inches. It's the extra deep version with the butcher block top. I really enjoy this box. I like it. Wish it had a little more room, some wider drawers, you know, I wish I had two length, full length drawers or these were three, two thirds of the way with the short drawers on that side or vice versa. But it's a good box for what it is for the price. The only thing I really don't like about it is these little caps on the end you have to watch because they will fall off. So I glued them into place. I used shoe goo and glued them into place. So anyways, in socket drawer I don't have a whole lot in there. Uh, let me think of. I got the um, new long extension. It's cobalt. Twenty-four inches. For those hard to reach spots. Three is drive. There's my gear wrench, socket, and ratchets. These are really good sets. I got them for cheap. It was buy the three eighths, get the quarter inch for free. They go all the way up to I think an inch, and all the way up to 19 millimeter without skipping a size, deep and shallow. inch drive and a quarter inch ratchet is the 120 XP it's a nice little ratchet I'm gonna buy a snap-on with a longer handle the cushion grip with a flex head probably locking just because I you know I've used it a lot more than I thought I would and that little ratchet does it's not really comfortable I mean it's good for what it is it's better than a husky or a, you know a Craftsman or something or cobalt, but I would just like a longer ratchet with a more comfortable grip. And we have my um, snap on SAE impacts, torque wrench, 3 8 drive, torque wrench, half inch drive, snap on SAE, small set of shallows. We have these, they're just old sockets I made them for wing nuts just cut a groove out of them the irrigation for the nursery a lot of the screens are held into the um the pipes and stuff with wing nuts so came up with that and I made let's see I think this is one too yeah they work really good saves me a lot of time Got some um, wobble sockets and different extensions and stuff. We got half inch to three eighths, half inch or three eighths to a quarter, and, and so on and so forth. And over here we got a little bit of new stuff. Um, we got the Mac oxygen sensor socket, 22 millimeter. Works really good. Used it a few times already. And um, snap on. Is this 13 16 or yeah, 13 16 spark plug socket. Had that for a while. Easy outs detecting the full half inch socket set, Kermes. 
that's my socket drawer. That's not all my sockets, just so I can fit in there. I showed you guys my wrenches. These are um, the gear wrench, extra long. I think it goes up to an inch and a quarter. I have other. I have the rest of the set in another drawer. And there's the Tecton double box end goes up to an inch and a quarter. And then just a random Mac knuckle saver, uh, thirteen sixteenths. For some reason I end up using that size a lot. And then this drawer is a little bit of a mess. A gear wrench, again, long handles. All the way up to 22 millimeter here. I think it goes up to 24. I have the bigger ones in another drawer. 19 millimeter, snap on. So there's 19 quite a bit. And then I have double box end, Tecton, all the way up to 32 millimeter. It does skip a couple sizes, but it hasn't affected me in any way. I have my screwdriver drawer. I think this is going to be the next thing I need to buy is a new set of screwdrivers. I have snap ons. One's getting fixed. I gave it to my dad to bring me the snap on guy. And the other one is in my house somewhere as I can't find it. <laughs> I have a long Tecton Phillips head, I think number two. The DeWalt set. A Cobalt four, four way. Some HDX and some DeWalt precision screwdrivers. A couple Craftsman thrown in there. It's my pry bar drawer. Change this up. I have a um, big combination and then spud wrench. Picks. Some homemade picks I use. Line up flanges or bolt holes. My scrapers. This Harbor Freight and a Cobalt Scraper, exactly a knife, uh, utility knife. These are my pry bars. I got a Cornwell, small one with a hammer cap on the back, or impact cap, whatever. Snap on. It's 24, 25 inches, and then a Cobalt set I pick up for twenty dollars at Lowe's. And they're all right. They're a little thin and flimsy, but I mean. I haven't bent one yet. They get used. I don't like that they don't have a cap on the back, but for 20 bucks, I'm gonna upgrade soon and I'll give these to my dad. Yeah, he just uses them around the house. Now to the plier drawer. Off pliers, precision pliers. In here is a set of snap ring pliers. They're, um, I forget what brand. They're cheapies, but they work really good. I have the Tecton battery terminal pliers, some scissors and cutters. These are my new favorites. The snap on wire crimpers and wire strippers. They work great. Really the nicest set I've ever used. And I've used a lot of wire crimpers. So there's my plier drawer. I'm still working on it. There's quite a bit more I want to get. I'm thinking of the Nipex or the van pliers for the next sets. And we have the hex sockets and Allen keys. The ATD is S2 steel. I use them a lot. It's a, the master set. I really like this set. They're all short. It was a really nice set. It was only like $50. But so far, I haven't run into too many hex head you know, bolts that I don't have the key for, or I don't have the, the socket for. And I have the Husky, SAE Long, Nico, Metric Long. 
There's my star bits or Thorx. My Thorx drivers. These are MIP. Little Allen uh, drivers. They're from, I built RC cars and race them, the A scale. And I bought these for that, but you know what? So far, they're the best ones I've ever used, better than Macos or Snap Ons or. I'll tell you what, these things are tough. Let's see if I can get you a good. There you go. And they're. They fit tight. Just. Man, I wish I could zoom in on that for you. A really nice tool. These are clutch from Northern Tool. My big Allen sockets. And I got some Crescent and some Craftsman nut drivers. And we have power tool drawer. I have the Aircat half inch impact, air impact, snap on, air hammer, uh, 8 volt snap on screw gun. That's the Cobalt half inch impact wrench. I mean, that thing's a beast. 650 pounds, foot pounds of torque. And it, I haven't run too many bolts, so that thing won't take off. And it tightens them up. When I go to torque down on things, never have an issue. It's got plenty of balls. I have the Cobalt drill and driver set. I really like them so far. Then we have the Husky 3 ace air ratchet. Uh, I think it's a Chicago or something. Cutoff tool and Central Harbor Freight angle die grinder. Get me through what I need to do. <laughs> some of the top end and some of the lowest end you can get right there. Then we have a hammer drawer. Uh, Tecton dead blows, the rubber dead blows. They're nice, they feel good. Nice thick rubber on them. I just don't like, like the snap-ons, I don't remember them making a noise or like a maraca, you know? But they're nice and they were the right price. They're like $30 for three of them, something like that. <clears throat> and my snap-on dead blows. These things seem more used than anything in the box they were pricey but well worth it i have the big one and the small one and a three pound maw and a little ball peen and then my rubber mallet and i have my big sockets impact sockets big metric then i have the sun x the full set that goes from like 10 to 36 and i have a nico metric long set and I have extensions, impact extensions there. None of that will fit in the top drawer with the sockets. If it did, it'd probably make it too heavy. All right, so now over to the second box. We have, um, these are just bits, different bits for the cobalt driver, a battery driver. don't use them too much but every once in a while I run into something I need there's my um my impact driver brake screws and stuff loose there's the bits for that or impact grade there's some more bits for the screw gun and the quarter inch impact driver and I just have a random electrical drawer multimeter flux soldering iron tester wires and clips a fuse tester I have this drawer gloves new gloves um digital calipers they're huskies they work really good and um a puller gear puller or bearing puller whatever you want to call it things old probably older than i am but it still works when this is empty this is my big metric drawer this is what I really need to start buying some more of. So I run into this stuff a lot. So I have Tecton, Armstrong, Gear Wrench. And here's my 
my big ass AE. Need to buy some more of these too. I have gear wrench, Craftsman, gear wrench, snap on, and Husky. <laughs> we have um, more sets of wrenches, SAE and metric. This is random set, it's like SK, Mac, snap on, Husky. There's a lot of different stuff in there, and this is almost all cobalt. I think I have like two SK wrenches for this, and some Craftsman this stuff I still use. And here's my locking pliers drawer. A lot of different brands from Cat, Irwin, to Bench Top, or something, some no name brand, Husky, Vice Grip. And we have some of my old drill bits that are still sharp and still work. I use them a lot. I just use these on you know everyday stuff. Now, like when I got something in the vise or in the press, oil filter wrenches, strap wrenches, compression tester, um, fuel line tools. die set and we have taps boxes of taps over here more taps I have this is a drill bit by or drill spit set by drill hold so far they've been really nice really great it's like $50 or $60 I forget came with a lifetime guarantee though I break the bit and here I have the Easy outs by Joe Hog also. And we have the Lawson left handed drill bits and easy outs. And a random easy out for pipe. And we have um, gear wrench ratcheting tap handle and die handle. And here's my um, service wrenches. SAE, they're Harbor Freight, and these are V8. They're the angle head open wrenches, the box wrenches. You know, one side's regular, one side's on more of an angle. I use these for fuel injectors and for hydraulics. I have SAE and metric. And then we have chisels, punches, uh, hole punches, files. Wood chisels, lots of files, and um, a couple of ball peens that I've had forever. Don't really need them, but I use them once in a while. And on top is just random stuff lighter, glasses, hole saw that I can't fit in with the drill bits and the easy outs and taps, and grinding wheels and wire wheels. And on top of my box is just I got the gear wrench metric ratcheting. Reversible, some spray paint, Loctite, battery terminal cleaners and stuff, and a WD-40, and the typical stuff, there's my battery chargers. Anyways, that's the updated tour, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, leave me a comment, leave me a like, thanks a lot guys, later.